Hey guys, my name is Cheryl and I'm from Australia. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is the first time I've done something like this, so you'll have to bear with me. I don't know YouTube well, I don't know editing well, so it's going to be a fun learning experience for me and I'm ready to give it a red hot go. I love the paranormal and I love the history that goes along with it. So my plan is to take you guys on some adventures to some supposed haunted locations in Australia. Take you there through the day, get a feel for the place, see what it looks like, then go back at night for a full-on investigation. These paranormal investigations may not be the only adventures that I take you on. Maybe every now and again I'll give you a sneak peek of what else I get up to. So hopefully you guys enjoy it and let's go! Okay guys, so I finally arrived at my location, Scrivener Dam, which is located in Canberra, Australia. I'll show you the dam in a couple of seconds, but before I do, I just wanted to say that this dam was completed in September of 1964, and the filling of the joined lake, Lake Burley Griffin, was in October of that very same year. Now there is a road behind me, um, with cars driving past at the moment, and people have said to have seen a manifestation of a ghost dangling in the middle of the bridge and also from this car park where I am right now which is the best viewing area that you can get of the dam. Now I found out recently that there was also another suicide in 2014 and unfortunately a lot of people tend to take their lives in this place. So let's go have a look at the dam. This is Scrivener Dam. Sorry about the wind noise. Can't help that at the moment. Being the middle of August, it is winter here in Canberra, Australia. Look how beautiful this is dam though. So gorgeous. car park as well so from here right there is where people can see a dangling ghost we're not sure if it's uh, male or female um, hopefully we can find out on our investigation and hopefully we're able to find out why they commit such an act of suicide and hopefully help them move on. This is the history of Scrivener Dam. If you wanted to pause the video and give it a read, that's entirely up to you. We've got a lovely picnic area as well. Let's go take a walk up on the bridge. What do you reckon? Let's go. Walk up here. Such a beautiful view from up here too. Like, look at that, wow. Beautiful. Okay. So when we come back tonight, um, we're going to be using various equipment um, to see if we can contact the spirit of the unfortunate soul who had committed suicide here and hopefully we can help him move on, like I said before. So, sorry for this wind noise, it's wind noise. <laughs> for this wind noise it's, and the cars, it is absolutely crazy right now and I had just some random person wave at me. <laughs> so this is a first for me, so yeah. Let's do this, I'll show you what it's like. Wow. Woo! 
Okay, so I am currently on the opposite side of the dam to where I was before, which was over there. And I want to show you something. This area just here, just under the bridge on top of the dam there, was overflowing due to floods. And someone had actually fallen in the lake and had been dragged down this area down to his death. Nobody knows how true this actually is or if it was an accident, murder or suicide. A lot of people believe that it was suicide. Also having seen police at the bottom of the dam investigating. Now that was back in November of 2014. Now near the beginning of this video, I did put pictures with comments in. You can take a look back if you want to reread that. Now, with all that being said, let's go get ready for our investigation. Come on. Oh my god, it got dark really fast. So we're back at Scrivener Dam to do our night investigation to see if this place is actually haunted. And I do have some members of our team tonight. One couldn't make it because he was scared of the dark. So he's not here tonight, but I do have... Alyssa on the right and Steve on the left. How's it going? Right. <laughs> so we're going to investigate um, three areas of Scrivener Dam tonight. The picnic area, which is more lakeside. And then we've got zoo side and royal side. So this part of the dam, which is the picnic area, and it's a fair way away from the dam itself. This is where supposedly somebody got pushed into the lake when the lake was overflowing due to the floods and got dragged under the dam behind me. So, try to communicate with the person who was um, possibly murdered, maybe, or suicide. We've got our EMFs ready to go. Spirit box. Is that how loud it goes? Yeah. Can anyone communicate through the spirit box? I can change it from AM to FM too. Yeah, you can play around with it too. Yeah. I've got <clears throat> phone on me to use the necrophonic later, so that's cool. I've got that too, so yeah, yeah, we've both got yeah. it. So I was like, yeah, need to try the necrophonic. <laughs> yeah, you're going off. I don't know if you could see that, I don't know, it might be your phone, I'm not too sure. Maybe it's not fine. Steve's is going off too. Yeah. yeah. That's sort of going to red, but there shouldn't be any electricity out here when you're at a picnic area and there's just gas barbecues, even if there is one. Yeah, there's a gas barbecue bottle. Um, okay, cool. So the next question is, is it the spirit box? Shouldn't be though, because yours isn't. Shouldn't be, because this is right there. Mine's still going off too. Mm. <clears throat> Beautiful dam over there. Is there anyone here with us tonight at Scrivener Dam? Did you get pushed in the lake? Oh, 
or is it any, any of the spirits that came down in the, after everything got flooded? All right, we've got some dousing rods here, which we're going to try. Alyssa is going to ask a question, yeah, and then we're going to see what what happens. Okay. Is Go there ahead. anybody here at Scrivna Dam that would like to communicate with us tonight? Yes. I take that as a yes. Okay. Can you say your name through the spirit box? That sounded like it said Timmy. And it sounded like a name too. Yeah. Um. Do you want to talk into the red light? We mean you no harm. We just want to find proof that you exist and what happened to you so we could try and help you move on. My EMF's still going off. Still trying to figure it out, guys. I'm not sure if it's my phone, but I don't think so because it's decently far away. So is the rest of the guys. <laughs> so. What do you want me to ask? Okay. Did any spirits pass away in the dam? Yes. <clears throat> no. That light just went light brighter. What the? Can you turn the torch off? If you're here with us, can you turn the torch off? We also have cat balls. Can somebody touch the cat ball? Someone has made contact. Notice the, EMF, the EMFs are not going off and the spirit box is still on. You know, if you can think of another name for the cat balls, please comment below. Got some EMF action over here. We've had the torch also flicker a little bit as well off camera. There we go. Who's here? And we've been really still as well because if you if this table would shake, like if we would move on the seats, you'd see the table shake on camera and it's not shaking. And the ball hasn't actually moved. It hasn't moved and the wind is pretty severe, but it's been not, it's been pretty much not flashing while we've had all this wind. So we don't understand why it's flashing now unless somebody is actually here touching the ball. Right, we are at the side of the dam where I told you guys about that um, poor person who got dragged in on the lake side down to this side and down the dam. 
So I'm going to try a necrophonic and see if we can come up with any answers. Also, if you guys see anything in the background, like just let me know because even during editing, I can miss a lot of stuff. Is there anyone here with us tonight at Scrivener Dam? What's your name? Mm -hmm. Is your name Paul? How old are you? Boy. Did you commit suicide here in the 1980s or 2014? Can you speak to us? Use our energy to make contact with us. Give us a sign. Were you murdered? Yeah. I thought you said fuck yeah. <laughs> well then. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> did you hang yourself or did someone hang you? That would be great. Did that just say that would be great? It would not be great. Would you like some help moving on? Please. Just say please. I think it did. What can we do to help you move on? If you communicate with us a little more, we can try and help you. We're just about to have coffee break, have a little bit of a refreshment before continuing on the other side of the dam to see if we can find anything over on that side. Let's have a look what we're having for coffee break, shall we? So we got the big blue truck with a little cute little kettle for coffee. How cute is that? Coffee break! 
yummy. So we are now over to the original side of Scrivener Dam and I am near the road which I mentioned earlier in the vlog. The road when you drive past you can actually see a ghost dangling in the middle of the bridge. I'll show you. There's the dam and the bridge. And obviously it's dark so you can't see behind me but I want to give the necrophonic another go on this side so let's try it is there anyone here with me tonight If so, who are you? Can you tell me your name? Are you male or female? Sounds like a female screaming. Did you commit suicide here? Did you hang yourself? Uh huh. Can't really hear it much because we are outside and it is a little bit windy and you can hear the water. Were you murdered? Okay guys, that's going to be it for our first investigation of Scrivener Dam. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll catch you again sometime soon.